Hey guys, Kyle here. I know I haven't posted anything in a while, I haven't done any shop tours, any videos of any products uh, lately, but here's the reason, because I don't know if you saw in my other videos, but we are moving. So actually tomorrow is our official moving day. I am moving to Tampa, Florida, which is actually where I grew up, but moving means moving my shop, which <laughs> is quite a project and I've been putting it off. We are moving tomorrow and today, I am going through my shop. I have decided that basically all the tables um, I have, I'm not bringing. Um, I have built a custom miter saw station that is just too big and bulky. I don't know what I really thought when I was building it. I guess maybe in this garage it would have worked out fine. I think this table I am going to bring just for temporary. So when I first get in my shop, I'll have something um, and then go, go from there. So right now I'm in the process of boxing up all my tools. Um, we actually rented storage pods that they come deliver the pods to your house and movers put our stuff in there. So most of our stuff went in that because that's going to be long term storage because we are building a house. So most of that stuff is going to be stored long term. I am putting my tools in a temporary um, rental space that we have so that I can still build stuff. I already ha I have videos coming up because I have four projects that people already paid for that I have to start building. It's going to be, it's a couple month time span. I don't need it till the end of the year. But so I do have a couple projects that I'm going to be making videos on. I'm going to be building and then we're going to be building stuff for the new house too. And um, I think that will be fun. That was one of the reasons I started this YouTube channel was that I knew we were going to be building a house and I wanted to document the shop that I have now. I thought it'd be cool to go back and look and then me building my new shop and then building stuff for our new house. So my new shop I have decided is everything is going to be on casters. Um, all my stations are going to be portable. Um, I'm going to have a portable main station with the outfeed table. Uh, probably will get a new uh, table saw. I know a lot of people's garages kind of rotate around their table saw. I haven't decided what I want to get yet. I am on a budget. The table saw I have now does work, but I don't want to make a custom out feed table and all this stuff for my table saw. I know I'm going to be getting a new one. My table saw doesn't have a lot of surface area on top. I could make a custom uh, top for it, which is big to do large sheets, but you know what? I don't want to put the effort to do all that for a table saw that is an introductory table saw that I, I probably want to get a contractor style table saw anyways. So we'll see. Um, and then, like I said, I want everything to be on casters. I want a, a portable miter saw station, my drill press, um, my main workbench, I want to be portable. So all that stuff's going to be coming up at the same time. Might not have any videos up for a while because <laughs> we are moving, but at the same time, I'm going to be building stuff soon. So I got to just kind of feel out how my temporary shop is going to work out in this portable storage thing, sh uh, not portable storage, but a storage facility I'm going to be we're staying with family so I might be building stuff there um, I will keep you guys updated I do post on my Google Plus if you got some small updates if you don't subscribe to that um, but here it is <laughs> everything's a mess right now going through everything to move the garage stuff tomorrow and we will see how that goes wish me luck I'm actually really excited because when I first set up this garage, I knew nothing about woodworking. I didn't really set this up to be a woodworking garage. It just kind of formed. And now I know so much more than I even did a couple of years ago um, that I'm really excited to get a new garage set up from the very beginning. I'm going to get some 220 um, outlets in. I'm going to get make sure I have enough outlets from the very beginning. I'm probably going to epoxy my floor from the very beginning. Um, and I'm going to, and I'm actually going to be reaching out to you guys to see if anyone has any advice for how I should set it up. It's going to be pretty fluid since everything's going to be portable. Um, I, I might do a, a large um, dust collection system with pipes all around that. I don't know yet. So anyways, wish me luck. Um, <laughs> tomorrow's going to be a big day trying to move all, trying to figure out how I'm going to put all the stuff in the trailer um, and we'll go from there. So I appreciate everything. Subscribe, like, give me a thumbs up share. Anyone who watches, I really appreciate it and stay tuned for some awesome stuff that's coming out.